Hello guys! Would you like to know what are the most discussed topics in Ukraine right now? Actually, I think many of you can guess even without my help. You know that in my videos I try to provide you with an ordinary Ukrainian perspective on this very extraordinary times, so today I will be honest with you as always. There are two of such questions. Number one, will President Zelensky dismiss General Zeluzhny? And number two, will the United States continue their support to Ukraine on our way to defeat Russia and all that evil and also to secure democracies globally? Let me tell you more of my Ukrainian thoughts in the video. My name is Anna and I vlog daily from Ukraine since the start of the brutal Russian invasion. So if you're new to the channel, you support Ukraine, please subscribe and help us fight against Russian propaganda, fake news and Russian trolls below the video. And my longtime friends, check your subscription status and hit notification button. So for almost a year, there were rumors and questions, will President Zelensky ever fire Zaluzhny? At some moments in recent history, it seemed very likely. At the other moments, it seemed almost impossible. Right now, after lots of publications, lots of discussions and some of Zelensky's comments, it seems very, very likely. In his recent interview to one Italian media, he confirmed that wants major changes in the military and also in the political spheres inside Ukraine. Honestly, I have to confess we did not like that such an important announcement came out not inside the country first, but outside. But that might have a reason. Both Zelensky and Zeluzhny have great support inside Ukrainian society and especially inside Ukrainian armed forces. Both are seen as great leaders. Zelensky is brave enough to visit soldiers at the very front lines in really hot zones. And Zaluzhny cares for them, he is very wise and he is a symbol of Ukrainian army for millions. So this is a very problematic decision that will not get like 100% support inside the country and perhaps outside the country. But it is not seen as a tragedy. This is another important message that I want to give you today. This is not seen as a tragedy because rotations, changes are normal in any country and after two years of full-scale invasion some changes are possible. What bothers most of us who will come instead of Zaluzhny if Zaluzhny is fired because there are different names, different people and the support differs from a personality to a personality. But not your support to our country, Ukraine. If you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe and demonstrate your solidarity with Ukraine. This works well to promote information about Ukraine that is super important right now. So, Zelensky and Zaluzhny had some conflicts. They were minor, of course, not something global. And I think it's okay, taking into account under what pressure both of them are working. They might see some of tactics and strategies differently. And by the way, during this two years of special military operation, Russia has changed their commanders like dozens of times. But we do value our unity. And unity is one of the reasons that helps Ukraine uh, surprise the world. And it was vital for the survival of the country during the first weeks of Russian attack. So it is our great task to stay united even if some changes occur and even if they are not understood or liked from the very start. What are the reasons for the dismissal of Zaluzhny if it happens sometime soon? There can be many. Starting from minor conflicts and different vision of the development of war, finishing with thumbs of Zaluzhny comments and also the influence of our allies. Because inside Ukraine there are rumors that some of Zaluzhny's articles were not liked by our allies, where he spoke about the delays of supply, some other issues, and also that he is extremely secretive, if it's the uh, right word, 
because many uh, military commanders from other countries, they claim Zaluzhny does not share much of uh, his vision and uh, does not take many advice. And that is something that not that is not liked by some. He definitely has the support of Pentagon. Uh, some politicians may not like him. And uh, of course, there are also people who persuade Zelensky that Zaluzhny has political plans. It's not very likely, but this might also be one of very subjective reasons. And also, I think that if General Zaluzhny is dismissed, he may consider uh, starting a political career, something that was pretty unlikely during his uh, service in the army. So this is just a question. Uh, I've recently read an article and I agree with this article on BBC that says that Zelensky may worry that Zaluzhny has political plans and may be the next president of Ukraine when Zaluzhny did not have such plans. But after his dismissal, he might consider this option. But this is all politics and politics is always bad. Honestly, look at this election year. This is a disaster. And one of the next questions that I will not dive into because I don't have a right to comment other countries' uh, politics. I will only touch the subjects that are connected with my country and global security of democracy in general. We desperately need this support. And it's not like Ukraine begging for something. This is an investment. This is similar to 1939 in Europe when we have to unite and we have to understand that such evil as Russia will not stop if it destroys Ukraine. What will stop it? What kind of negotiations? And when you think that you're really far away, there is an ocean between us, it doesn't work like that. It will start on the other side of the world. Other authoritarian regimes will raise their heads. And we already observe that in Iran, in China, in North Korea. And as one beautiful philosopher, Vlad Wexler said, who told you that democracy is the future of this world? Well, it's a brief paraphrase, but yeah. We somehow believed that the only way for all the countries is to evolve and finally reach the democratic phase of their development, but this may not be true. And of course, uh, Ukraine is a country that was heavily disarmed, that gave up its nuclear weapons, that uh, was um, to some extent deceived in various agreements. And now it needs your support because it actually stops global evil, not local evil. This is a, not a local conflict. Russia attacked Georgia, Russia attacks Ukraine, Russia will attack the Baltics, Poland or something else. There were times when Russians were in half of Berlin and they remember that and that's evil. That's really evil, but let's hope that we will manage to stay united despite all of these problems. Uh, let me know what you think about two of these questions that are so important to me and to all the Ukrainians. And to make this video more positive, I'm glad to announce that in our merch shop we have a new collection dedicated to love. And love is real, even in times of war. As St. Valentine's Day is coming, of course, this is not just about romantic love. This is about love to Ukraine and our democratic values. Go check it. I hope you will like it. Thank you so much for being with me. Thank you so much for buying me coffees, becoming my uh, patrons. Remember to subscribe to my Instagram, threads and Twitter. Soon there will be one huge announcement about our NAFO initiative because our little fluffy raccoon broke the record. I will let you know more tomorrow. But remember, most importantly, I love you very much and thank you for standing with Ukraine. Slava Ukraini!